Rash Class and today I'd like to read you the story of the snail and the whale following on from our Zoom sessions where we've been looking at parts of it. So here is the whole story. So if you've missed any parts out, you can hear it all. Let's see if your predictions are right from the Zoom meetings. Okay, so the author is again my favourite, yes! Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaeffler has done the illustrations. That means he's drawn all the pictures. Amazing! Let's get started. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great grey blue humpback whale. This is the rock as black as soot. And this is the snail with an itchy foot. The sea sail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships and the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. This is the sea, is the deep, and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who are all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot be quiet don't wiggle sit still stay put but the tiny sea sail sighed and sniffed then cried I've got it I'll hitch a lift this is the trail of the tiny snail, a slithery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. Mm. What do you think the snail might see on his travels around the world? Shall we have a look and find out? Oh. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out to the starlit sea and said to the snail, Come sail with me. Can you see the little snail crawling onto the giant whale's tail? Let's find out where they swam off to. <gasps> this is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on its tail to towering icebergs and far off lands can you see the tiring, towering icebergs? And can you see those other animals that are walking around on the iceberg? Some of them are walking, some of them are sliding on their tummies. Look, some of them are jumping into the sea. How do you think that sea feels? Oh, I think it feels cold as well. Hmm, what are these peculiar animals? Do you know what they're called? Let's see what else the snail and the whale find. <gasps> With fiery mountains and golden sands. Wow, can you see of the any of the animals that live in this land? How do you think it would be to swim in this water? Do you think it would be icy cold, the same as where the icebergs were? No, that looks like a lovely summer's beach to me. Nice and hot and warm. And look, can you see up the top here? Oops. That is a volcano. They're really, really hot. And it looks like it's exploding and lots of lava coming out. That would certainly make the sea very hot if it ran down the mountain into the sea. 
Should we see what else they get up to? Let's have a look. <gasps> Whoa! These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Can you see him? Just there, hanging on really, really tight. I wonder what it would be like swimming on the whale of a tail. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. What other creatures can you see there under the water? What other marine life is swimming under the sea? This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, but sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh my goodness, he's still clinging on there, but very, very frightened. She gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves, the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then, oh my goodness, the day came, the whale lost his way. There are speedboats running a race, zigzagging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Oh, those people in their boats. Are they thinking about all the animals that live in the sea? Are they thinking about how their actions can be affecting them? Hmm, what do you think? Are they making the right decisions? Let's have a look. Oh no, he's got washed up on the beach. Oh no, the poor whale. And this is the tide slipping away. That's the sea. The tide is going out and the whale is still on the beach. He's beached. He's stuck. Oh no. What can we do to help the whale? Should we find out and see what the snail does? Okay. Oh my goodness, that poor, poor whale. He is well and truly beached on there, on that sand. This is the whale laying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. It can't move on land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then... I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. Must not fail, I must not fail, I must not fail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. Hmm, where is the snail with the itchy foot? Let's have a look, shall we? <gasps> this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail? A snail? <gasps> the teacher turns pale. Look, said the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A slivery trail? saying, <gasps> save the whale. The whale? Where could the whale be? They can't see the whale, can they? <gasps> These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman and digging a pool. Can you see them all running, fetching the fireman, and digging the pool? 
squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Can you see all the people there that are helping that whale? Aren't they kind? Aren't they looking after animals that live on our planet? They're trying their absolute hardest. Have a look at the picture and discuss with your adult what you can see in the picture. Who's helping and what are they doing? This is the tide coming into the bay. And the, these are the villagers shouting, Hooray! as the whale and the snail travel safely away. I think you're right. I think they were keeping the whale cool on the beach. They were keeping him covered in water so that he could survive until the tide came back in and it became deep enough for him to swim away. That was a really, really good idea of yours. Well done. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, slivery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. Where do you think they're all going? Why are they all climbing onto his tail? Do you not think the little snail with the itchy foot should have got off the whale? Hmm. No. Look. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. Why do you think all of the other snails wanted to get onto the whale? I think you're right. I think they wanted to explore the lands everywhere, the same as the tet snail with the itchy foot. Off they went, swimming in the ocean blue. That was a lovely story, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed that. It's one of my favourites. Thank you for listening. Bye.